yeah, I, really I, mean, I always sing joke it. about it, but I wish I had a good voice. If I had a good voice, I would totally rock the national anthem at the Super Bowl. Dance I literally moves. used to practice it all the time in the shower. And she it did. Just, I just thought it was so cool. So now that the Super Bowl, it's not close, but like once it gets January, February, like in March, I'll still be doing it because <laughs> I don't know if I've like booked someone yet, but. Um, maybe they can sing. I could just be on the side pretending to sing. <laughs> Last time was Lady Gaga, right? She wow. killed it. Cool. Yeah, she wore like a bright red sparkly suit. 2016? Yeah, 2017. 2017. Yeah, here we are. Oh, God. Hello and welcome to the Spirit of Debate. I'm Lauren Green. Well, she spun, twisted, and soared to incredible earthly heights to realize her golden dreams in the 2016 Summer Olympics. Winning four gold medals and one bronze, champion gymnast Simone Biles also warmed her way into the hearts of the world. But her journey from foster care to becoming arguably the best female athlete ever is a story of grace and faith. And she tells her life narrative in a new book just released. It's called Courage to Soar, A Body in Motion, A Life in Balance. And Simone Biles joins me now. Welcome. Thank you. You were just as cute in person <laughs> as you are on TV. Thank if not you. cuter. You really, and that smile is just electrifying. You know, it's a really amazing, uh, this book, because I began reading it, and you chronicle your amazing path to Olympic victory with a story about a devastating defeat. Um, what is that defeat, and why did you start with that? Why was that so important? Are we talking about the adoption one or the one, uh, or the competition? The competition. Oh, goodness. Oh, yikes. Um, that was a really bad competition. My head wasn't quite in the right uh, place the day of that meet, so I had a little bit of a downfall, um, and it wasn't the best. <laughs> but why, is, why did you start with that sort of defeat? Why was that mean? Because it really drew me in about understanding why was that so important yes. that set your path? I think it's important for other young gymnasts that read my book um, to know that I have bad competitions too, and sometimes practices don't work out the way I want them to mm -hmm. because I think these little gymnasts that look up to me, they always think I'm perfect because they see me in one competition, two competitions, and if I hit my sets, they're like, she's perfect, but they don't realize that in the gym in some meets, I do like fall apart a little bit. Really? Because you do look perfect when yes. you're out there on, on the <laughs> map. I have to say, you speak of faith in your book, and one particular time before this competition, you actually were praying to God, you know, praying, you know, I want this so bad. Yes. How much um, does faith shape your uh, life as a gymnast? I think faith shapes a lot of it just because I can go to him at any time and he knows exactly what I need and it can calm me down. But then again, it's just like, it's always good to look up for him and I think everything happens for a reason and I think that meet needed to happen. Mm -hmm. and how much better do you think you are because of that meet? I think it made me realize that I needed to work a lot harder in the gym, that I couldn't just pull it together for one competition. So I think it helps a lot because I wouldn't be here without that one meet. You know, um, I, I want to know about your signature move. It's called the Biles. Yes. Uh, double layout with a half twist and a blind landing. Okay, how did that come about and what is that? <laughs> um, so, like you said, it's a double layout. So I'll flip twice straight in the air and at the very last minute I do a half turn. Um, and it came about because my current first pass, it's called a double A full out. Um, I was trying it one time in the gym to put it in a routine and I landed short and I was like, my calf really hurts. So I went to the doctor, I partially tore a calf muscle and um, I just had to stay off of it for like two weeks in a boot. And my coach was like, well, if you do a half, then you won't have to worry about coming up short and nobody's ever done it. So if you ever make it to a world championships, or an Olympic Games, you could get it named after you. Wow, that's you know, um, you must. You were talking about um, a lot of young gymnasts, and uh, they look up to you as a role model. And yes. you know, is it a lot of pressure to to be a role model like that? Do you ever think about that? I do, but to me, I think of it more as an honor. Um, I'm honored to have these kids look up to me because I remember being one of those kids, and I looked up to someone as my role model, so it's kind of cool how now I can be their role model, and I hope I show them the best examples um, of everything inside and outside the gym. You know, I want to go back to the issue of faith, because how did faith become so important to you? Did your parents take you to, to church and Sunday yes. school? I mean, how did that become a real faith for you? 
Yes, I would always go um, to church on Sunday, and then me and my sister on Wednesday would go to our CCE classes. And then one year, my brother was actually my CCE teacher. And CCE is? Um, I'm in Catholic something education. Right. Okay. But we would always go every Wednesday, so I would like leave practice early, which my coach didn't like, but it was for <laughs> church, so it was okay. Um, so then even I did faith formation 9th through 12th grade, so I can get confirmed as well. You know, it's interesting because you hear so much about uh, young people who are not really religious and they, they don't yeah. believe. You know, do you ever have spiritual conversations with other gymnasts about your faith at all? Um, here and there, it doesn't really get brought up because everyone's different. Even our Olympic team, um, we have one Christian, two Catholic, and then two Jewish. So it's very different. But I mean, I think it's all special how we share faith in our own ways, um, and it helped us together on the Olympic team. That's amazing. Well, the book is called um, Courage to Soar, A Body in Motion, A Life in Balance. Uh, Simone Biles, thank you so much for being on A Spirit of Debate. You were thank absolutely you. delightful. Thank you. And thanks so much for joining.